Hi everyone, welcome to Bumblebee Crafts. Thanks for tuning in to another video from me. It's another episode of my vintage books into journaling fodder. And this week we're just going to be doing some simple tags and journaling cards. Um, I've already gone ahead and done some from this book. I just wanted to show you which book they came from. So it was this one that I have gone ahead and used. And basically I just look at the page and a bit like I did um, last time around, intuitively think that I wanted to keep that whole image as a nice page and maybe fold it to make our journal pages. I do very similar kind of thing with the tags. I just sort of look at a page um, like these two or a page in the journal and because they're tall they just look perfect as tags um, same with this one they were a tall one that I've just split into two to get a couple of tags and the same with this one and what I've actually done is the wording at the bottom that um, told you what they were um, I've just um, torn that out as well um, and stuck that on there they've been backed as well um, but I don't think they're finished um, they're finished for this video, um, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a collection of ephemera together over the next few weeks doing different types of ephemera. Then we'll come together and we'll do some decorating of them. So these would go in what I would call my unfinished ephemera box um, because, I mean, I think this would be lovely to have a little butterfly on. Um, maybe one of these could do with a little bit of a, a label or something like that. Some use some Tracy Fox labels. Um, so that's those ones. A couple of um, journaling cards that I've done from a page in a book. Um, and I've used the words along the bottom there. But again, I think that could do with like you could have a little tab on here, maybe a bit of lace or a um, bird or something. So they do need finishing off. And again, this page, um, if I, where are we? We were kind of like that on the page. I've actually split it into four um, and got, um, a couple of little journaling cards and a couple of little tags, different sized ones. Um, and again, I've used the wording um, for them. So that was that book, uh, the illustrated book of garden flowers. So as you know, I've I cut up um, several um, books. So we'll put those to one side. And let's grab things from this book this time, Flowers of the Countryside. So that's the book. Let's just pop that back in my box. I've got a big box next to me of them. And let's just go through and have a little look and see um, what we think. Ah, yes, it was these, wasn't it, that I was thinking would make some lovely tall tags out of here. Yeah, okay. So that's one page. Let's grab further down into the pack. Let's have a look what we've got in here. Let's just have a look in here. I like that one. I'm holding it up to the light so that I can see that I can use that one, use that one, and maybe even use that at the bottom. And then that would be a tag. So that's a good page. Um, as you know, I like to do threes. So let's just see if there's a third one we like. Um, let's see what we've got in here. All those orchids look nice. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that one. I really... Oh, look at that page. I should have had that as a journal page. That's too lovely to cut up. Mm. 
The other thing as well is seeing what's on the pages like that, I think would be a lovely tag. But then I look at that and I think that is just so lovely. It's making the decision, isn't it? Making that decision. We'll go with those few pages that we've got there um, and see where we go. I can see this is going to be a slow process <laughs> making uh, these particular ones because uh, they're just so lovely. Okay, now I'm hoping this is slightly shinier um, card, so I should be able to use my trimmer for this one. Okay, so what I'm just going to do is tear the page in half. I don't think I'm going to use that page for now, although it would make a nice um, tag base, wouldn't it? We'll leave that for one, to one side for now. This is this is the um, image that I want to look at. Okay, so what I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to roughly look at where the it, the flower ends, and that's about four inches, which is quite nice. That's going to be a nice tag. Now, I have pulled out my piece of paper and my tag, um, which I think is quite a nice sized one. This is three and a quarter um, inches by seven. So obviously this one's going to be a little wider. Um, but what I might just do is trim that top bit off. This is how I did my other ones, just so that we're at the top of the flower. That can be stamped on. And then just roughly gauge how far down we're going to cut those stems off, aren't we? Yeah, as long as we don't cut the writing off because you've got some little writing either side there. So that was seven and that's quite close to the writing. So I'm going to make it about seven and a half I think if I do well, maybe seven and a quarter actually looking at my size and my paper yeah that's a nice size tag time you get a little something on the top and that can be used for collage or something so that's our first one now where did I put my there it is and my scissors so let's see I've got a little card an old gift card that um, I've cut for different edges that I want on here I'm just gonna do that up straight and cut that one and those little bits I won't keep. <laughs> so how's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing well. Okay, so that I think is a lovely tag shape. All it needs now is to be backed onto some coffee dyed paper. So let's do that. Let's do one in its entirety and then we'll do a bit of a mass make with them. Let's grab my glue page and I'm just going to use my Pritt stick glue um, because I, um, it should stick nice and easily, um, this, but uh, also I'm thinking I want to stitch around as well. I think that may be quite nice on some of these tags and journaling cards. Oh, damn, gouging out me uh, glue. Okay, I'm just line it up. Use my head if you can see it. There we go. Yes, there it is. Now, again, just an old card that uh, I like to use, just, just use as a scraper to flatten that all down. Okay, so that's going to need to dry, so we'll move that to the side. Mess my glue. There we go. 
Okay, so let's move on to this one. Now, I definitely want this side and I definitely think that that could be a tag as well. And then we'll do something with the bottom. But I'm going to focus on cutting it from this side first because this is the smallest one that I think we can do. So I want to just... Cut it about there, I think. And what have we got? Yeah, so all we're missing is that off the bottom. Okay, so let's trim this down. To where we think. Let's get that out. Yeah, I think seven actually is going to be a nice size. Nice size tag there, cut the corners. Okay, so that's one that we've done from this sheet. Now, I wanted to definitely want to use this one. Let's have a look where trumpet geranium that must be that one. So, I'm just wondering if we, if we come under here, that would make a nice little journaling card. Isn't it? To go in. Yeah, I think we'll have that as a little journaling card. And I'm thinking I might thin this down a little bit. Take that writing off, actually. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so that's a couple of bits on that page. And then on this one, it's going to be a nice big journaling card to the side so if I go about four that gives us a scrap now I do want to although you could you could have it as a tag actually couldn't we it's seven so we could use it as a tag we have it as a tag yeah I think I'm going to do that one as a tag as well okay last page now I wonder how much we'll get of this let's just have a little look and see this is going to be a wonderful tag we've got a little bit on there but I think that's going to be too too small so I will leave that for something else now this is going to be way too tall um, so where do we we cut the poppy off in its prime so I either do a short little tag I, which is where I'm going to go short little tag and that would make a lovely journaling card yeah okay so that's those from there now Looking, that follows there. This is the one that I definitely want again. So we will go with a four inches. Now where we cut all the wording off. Um... What have we got? We need to do it about there. Six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight. Oh, there's a nine. Where's nine? I've seen them. Oh, number nine's there. Oh, okay. We're not going to do that. Now, I'm just what I'm doing is looking where this wording is to try and cut right down the middle of the wording. There we go. I managed to do that. So they but nearly all correspond to the numbers that are on here, and that could be a nice little chunky tag. These all correspond to the ones down here, and that's a nice little journaling card that we can round. Yes, because I think it looks better than that side. And this one we can make into a nice tall tag. I'm thinking we'll cut it somewhere across this middle bit here. 
actually, which works out to be six. And then that, I don't, mm, do I want that as a little journaling card? I suppose we could, a nice little butterfly on there, a little tab. Yeah, we will. Okay, so that's kind of what we've got going on here. Now, I think what I'm going to do is leave the corners on all the journaling cards until um, they've been backed. So let's turn this into a little tag. That's journaling card tag. This was going to be a little journaling card. This one was a little tag. Might change and do this angled one. Yeah, a little dumpy one. Yeah, that'd be nice. A nice label or something on there. That's going to be a little journaling card. This one is um, a tag. There, yeah, that looks nice, doesn't it? And this one I was going to do, I think I might just straighten up because all the other edges are straight so I'm just going to straighten up that bottom edge and again I'm just going to do, I do that no actually I think I'll leave it like that so let's do our tag corners Still finding it a little awkward with my finger. It's healing very nicely. Thank you um, for asking about it. Um, it's just I need to keep it protected because it's at that stage where um, it could easily catch on things and I run the risk of opening, opening it back up again, which I don't want to do. <laughs> so I have still got it on. That's gorgeous, isn't it? I love that one. It's the pretty pinks, that's what it is. And this one we were going to do as a little journaling card. And then I actually think I'm going to take a slither off of here. Let's move these into the bin because I don't like, I was trying to save that flower at the end, um, but I don't like the words, um, the lettering on there. So let's take that off, that's better. And I'm just going to straighten up this edge as well. There we go. So now we can do our little tag shapes. And from a couple of pages in the book, we have some lovely tag bases ready to be backed with coffee dye paper. And we've got the start of some journaling cards there. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I won't go ahead and back them all, um, but I will go through the next book um, for you in a moment. I just want to... Um, Cut this one out so you can see give it an ink because that in my mind with because I'm an inker it kind of changes the look of it okay so that we can get a bit more out of that that's good for stamping on with a little ink Oops. 
inks up so lovely these old book pages do there so that's a lovely tag that is another one that's ready a nice little butterfly or a couple of butterflies um, pop a little hole in it and some tab um, some tassels I might even sew around that I think that could work quite nicely sewn round so that's from that book so what book do we want to do next okay I'm going to go with this big book next we are this one um, the in illustrated encyclopedia of wildflowers that's what we're going to go with because I know these were um, I had in my mind going to be doing journaling cards with them so that one I think would make a lovely tag and unfortunately that you lose that one Let's have a little look through. So that's one there. Oh, look at that, Heather. Okay, so we're going to use that page. And that's that one, isn't it? That was going to be a page in a journal. Mm, nice. They would be nice. Spring snowflake. Yeah, I'm going to tear that out. I'm going to use these two. And I love that one. The um, spreading bellflower. It's called. We use that one. I actually think those might be quite nice as well. Skip a page or two. What have we got in here? Well, that's one. Spiny Rest Harrow. Gosh, who thinks of these names? <laughs> Fine, I quite like that one. Well, there we go, there's some pages there, so let's uh, put the book back. And let's have a little look at what we've got here. I'm just going to have a quick drink of my green tea. Okay. Okay. So I definitely think that is going to make a lovely um, journaling card. Now I'm just wondering whether I cut it off there. Should we do that? Now let's cut down black line mm. it's one of these ones that uh, doesn't tear without creating lots of bits of fluff everywhere I'll throw that out of the way okay I might have to go back to using my ruler for this. We'll see. Yeah, if we had it there. Yeah, I'm just going to try it on. Move me uh, this round to number two to the blade the other way because they always go one way um, and then turn the blade around and go the other way so let's just do 
that. Yeah, it does it better that way. Okay. Yeah, I think that would be a nice tag. We could do something with that at a later date. That's absolutely fine. So let's see. Where my scissors are. Actually, I'm going to follow this um, line here and just cut this off. And that. Just flip over and we'll cut. There we go. Yeah, I think that'll be nice. Time that's decorated up. We can put um, some labels and bits behind that. Yeah, that's the side I would use. Okay, I'm going to make this a nice tall one and I want to come just under here. So I'm not too worried about... Well, actually, I'm just... I'm thinking. Thinking, thinking. Um... You know what? I'm going to use this as a little label for here. So I'm going to just come under here, tear this off. That's not straight. And same along here. That could go along there. I'm just wondering whether we make this a bit smaller or whether I use this on here. Should we, should we use this on here? think if I glue that on there do that and then it can be decorated up um, with other stuff afterwards so that's a great use of some of the actual ephemera uh, um, some of the actual other wording that comes with the um, images on the pages is looking at the words and seeing if you want to um, cut them out and put them with it so I'm going to ink these up and get these glued down first before it gets backed. And then you can see. Although I could. Just wondering if it would. No, I think I like it with that. Although I am just wondering if it's a bit. A bit too long. Hmm. There's a lot of expanse around that. It's not this one, is it? It's um that one's that one. I don't suppose it matters though, does it? That looks fills the page better for me. Maybe I should have it that way. Yeah, I'm actually going to do it this way round. It's just too much white on there. And you know what? I don't actually think I'm going to back this because that's so small. You could write on this. And I think it's quite a thick page anyway. So there we go. We've changed our mind. Changed what we're going to do, so I'm just going to ink that up. I'm getting ink on my uh, bandage. Good job it's due for a change later today. Yeah, that's going to go there. Oops, move that over there. Let's get these glued down. Okay, that's going to 
and go there. Nice. And there. And make sure it sticks. Might have to stick some weights on it to uh, get it to stick. It's not a shiny, not, not really shiny card, but it's it's certainly got um, It's certainly not as porous as some of the others. Okay, yeah, I think that would be nice. So let's do our um, little tag top. Yeah, and we will cut this one. Like so. And that. We could still put a few little labels or something on there but when you turn it over you've still got that lovely image and you've got all this writing space and that doesn't even need to be backed now i'm just going to move this to the side and put a bit of a weight in here because that's lifting up a little bit okay so let's move on to another page what have we got here i was eyeing up that one yeah, I think I was going to use that one. So let's bring my trimmer in. Oh. Um, that's even on the second one. All these uh, fibrous papers. I think I need to invest in one of those... Um, guillotine ones you know you can get the little choppers that are a blade that you just pull down I've just they terrify me if I'm totally honest uh, I'm so clumsy that those ones do do terrify me a little okay so this is what this one is and I think I'm going to do the same I'm going to cut this bit off But I'm going to trim it down because I'm thinking that we could put this down the bottom here as well. And then we'll do the same with the name. And then that is just make a nice little bit of either for collaging or something like that. Okay, we just need to trim this a little. So, that can go there. And that can go there. I don't want all these little pieces. I'm keeping some of the little pieces because I'm just wondering if I've got like little stamps that I could just stamp on. That That's kind of like what I'm thinking. So let's do the same again with this one as we've done with the other one and just turn it into a, a little tag with these little elements on. I think that'll be nice. This is just my usual um, PVA glue, um, extra strong crafting glue that I use. And I just got these little bottles from um, Amazon a while back now. I'm actually going to centre that, I think. Oh, let's bring it up to the hide the stems there we go that's straight looks it and let's do the little label and 
Okay, so let's uh, weight these down. So that one's dried. So we just need to give that one a little ink. And that's a tag ready. Now what I would probably do with this one is I wouldn't put um, anything other than maybe a, um, well I don't have a whale's tail um, tab, but you, you get the idea. I'd use one of those um, little tabs on the top just to give it a bit of strength for when you're pulling it in and out of a pocket. I uh, need to do the other side, don't we? Because it's not being backed. There we go. So you've got writing space on the back with a lovely flower and then you've got this decorated up on there. Okay, so that one doesn't need to be backed and that one's already been backed. That was one that we've got. Let's have a look. Should we do, do some little journaling cards? We haven't done any journaling cards yet from this one and then we'll move on to another one. Okay, I'm just going to do this, I think. And I just think that in itself will make a lovely journaling card, a few little labels and a butterfly. I think it's nicer than that side. So that's one ready. Let's have a look at what we've got on here. just going to use this I think I think I'm going to do a journaling card but I'm going to do the same as I've done might as well so if I think to use um, digital um, labels use the ones that come in the book and that there and then Oops, I'm going to skip it here. Yeah. I think I'll put that on there. So that's another journaling card. I think I'll leave it there with this one, actually. I'm just going to do this one and... As I said, they all need backing, but I don't think you want to see me gluing everything to um, a coffee dyed paper. It's nothing exciting. <laughs> okay. So let's glue this one down. I do like these little bits. Let's... Uh, what jumped to mind when I see the book on um, the uh, um, on Etsy? Did I get this one from Etsy? I can't remember. There, that one's going to go on there nicely. Where do we want that? I'm thinking here. There. Okay, so let's wipe this one down. 
that one's done. Are we going to do that as a tag or a journaling card? I think a tag and I'll probably just cut um, the corners off of that. So that's a few from this little book. A little tag, journaling card. Then these ones are ready as journaling cards. They just need to be backed. And then obviously the one that we've got there. So what book should we go on to next? Do you know what I'm going to, I'm going to go on to the Edith Holden. I'm going to be brave with my, with the Edith Holden book. Where are we? We're about 40 minutes. And if you watched last week's video where we made um, our journal pages, I never actually used the Edith Holden book. I was still so very nervous because I could, just couldn't decide. Um, which page to cut into or anything so I once I'd done the filming I thought no I really must do that so I thought I'd just show you that I chose this page as one of, um, to use as a page I flipped this over and made a little pocket here and then I wasn't sure because I loved that I didn't really want to lose it so I've just rounded it as a little flip um, I might put um, a piece of coffee dye paper on there when I come to put it in the journal. Um, but that was one of the pages that I created. This was another one. I turned that over and made a nice little pocket on here. And then this side, um, it had had an image of a snake, which um, I didn't really think would go with any of the um, journals that I would do. So I folded it over, but because you've got her writing in here, it's just so lovely. I've turned it into a little top opening pocket on here. Um, so that was another little idea I did. And then this one, this was where the centre page was. Um, but every way I look to fold it, I was going to chop off one of the heads of the birds. I have there, but when it goes into the journal like this and you flip it over and you flip that, so you see the bird here. And I thought, well, I don't mind seeing that little bird there because that's going to be in the journal like that in your signature. And I thought, well, that's quite a nice one. When you turn over here, you're more focused on the bird. But because this is where the join was, it was really quite weak and kept wanting to fold. So I used an off cut because I had to shorten it. And then um, I just put the strip down on this inside, which didn't really matter. So it didn't cut the image in half. Um, so, yeah, that's how I've used three pages of Edith Holden book page to make some pages. So I just thought I'd show you them from last week quickly. And yeah, let's put those bits back and let's have a little look and see if there's anything in particular that jumps out straight away that we want to use for tags or journaling cards. Violets. Absolutely gorgeous, those violets are. Just looking at that and thinking that would make a really, really nice um, journaling card. And what's on this side, the moss, moss cups, they look quite funky. Um, but I'm not too bothered so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it roll. there we go Look, that's one page oh, I've been brave and using another one oh, they would make two tall tags wouldn't they and then you've just got writing on that side so let's go with that one I'm going to use my ruler in here just to help tear it because I don't want to um, rip it. So that's that one. Let's have a look and see. Oh, they're just so gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous images. And look at that. That would have made a lovely page.
Oh, look at that. That's lovely. Mm, I'm str oh, and the foxgloves. Oh, my favourite foxgloves. Yeah, I'm struggling, aren't I? I'm, I'm looking at all these images going ooh and ah. I'm <laughs> not cutting into them. Do you know, I'm looking at these and thinking they would make really nice backgrounds for things, wouldn't they? Now, I've got somewhere... Um, some Edith Holden um, craft stuff. It's new stuff, but it came from Hobbycraft. Last year they had um, a load of Edith Holden stuff on um, on offer. Um, oh, I'm struggling to decide, aren't I? Really am struggling to make a decision. Yeah, I was just wondering if they've got some nice little bits of ephemera that for some of these plainer backgrounds. No, I think I'm just going to do those two. Just going to do those two because I can't decide. Oh, that's terrible really, isn't it? I'm going, it's going to take me quite a while, I think, to be brave enough to cut into the Edith Holden stuff. But we've got two. We've got two. Let's move this out of the way. Yeah, that's going to make a lovely little journaling card. Or is it a tag? Actually, I'm going to put that into a tag. I'm going to turn that into a tag quickly. That's lovely that one is okay so I'm not worried about the back <laughs> it's the only reason I'm feeling brave enough to use it I think but I want to get a couple of little um, journaling cards out of these mm -hmm. do you know what I'm going to take the um, wording off the bottom first There we go, so that we can use the wording to decorate it as well. Yeah, that's a couple of little tags. Um, now that's white nettle, red nettle. That one must be those other two. They look like they're the same. Okay. So let's cut that. That's the one that I want to put on here. Let's just trim this side. Like that. So that's going to go on there. This one. Let's trim this up a little bit. And oh, it's only just going to fit, isn't it? And I want it to be slightly smaller, so I'm just going to take a very thin amount off as close as I can get to it. There we go. And then I just want to take. A little sliver off the top, like so, and a little sliver off the bottom. There we go. And that is just going to fit on there nicely. Now I'm thinking if I take that off as a tag 
I want to keep that 53. I love the writing. You see, I'm trying to keep every little bit of it, aren't I? Okay, a bit of inkage. if I can get that number somehow I don't want to waste a single drop of this Edith Holden book <laughs> kind of center it center it's about center isn't it okay let's just weigh that down inside there there we go okay let's give that a little bit of a wait just check how I'm doing for time oh we're up to 52 so we'll just get these finished um, and then uh, yeah that's the video so that's just a quick little one showing you some tags and journal cards that should have stuck enough okay we want to do a nice top on here. Yeah, I never measured the size of that. Is that going to be? Oh, no, I think that'll be fine. Time it's in a in a journal that gets backed with some um, coffee dye paper that will be really nice okay let's see what we can do with this one i'm just wondering if i take that off and make it a little dumpy dumpier actually where's my oh my punch isn't up here it's downstairs Ah, right, okay. In that case then, what I was going to do is my tiny little circle punch, I was going to punch that out. So what I am going to do is just cut this right to the top there, like so. That should be enough for me to get my little circle punch in there, punch that number out, and then I want to put the number on as if it's um, sort of like somewhere on here. Um, yeah that's what I'm going to do so I'll show you that when I come back next week and we do some more I think I'll probably make some pockets or something next week again something um, nice and uh, simple to get us going get a little stash going of uh, some book page ephemera okay yeah I think that's really really nice those two Edith Holden ones get them both backed with some coffee dye paper I think stitching around them might be quite nice as well um, and then I'm going to punch the hole punch that out and then just pop that somewhere like that on there cool so we've got a few done then we've got the Edith Holden ones we've got these ones um, that are already um, to be backed this one I showed you very simply how I would back that and then that would go into my pre um, unfinished ephemera um, for me to do some more work on um, but from that same book we went ahead and prepped a load of um, bits ready and then these were obviously the ones that I did to start with to show you um, when I first come on on camera 
So that's a nice little amount of ephemera. Nice, nice. I'm happy with that. Um, so thank you very, very much for watching. I hope it's inspired you to cut into your books um, and just make yourself some lovely little journaling cards that, depending on which... Um, type of journal you're putting in them whether you want some um, fluffy um, string off the top whether you want a little butterfly or a bird that kind of thing they can all be added to um, later on but it gives you a nice little um, pre-made stash so thank you very much for watching happy crafting everyone and I will be back in my next video take care bye